So imagine this situation. You're about to head out on a trip to go out hiking, snow trip, or walking along the beach shore. But you wanna bring music with you. So you go on Amazon or something to go ahead and look at some wireless Bluetooth speakers for the old gray outdoors. But you notice these speakers tend to range anywhere from 100 to $50. So now you're left thinking, are you better off picking up the $100 speaker or she could pick up the similar style speaker for a fraction of the cost. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video, comparing a $40 speaker against a $100 speaker to see what kind of differences does the price range give us. So on my left, I have the Ultimate Ear Boom 2, better known as the UE Boom 2, which is an outdoor style speaker. And it's going to be going against the Mook, Mook, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, M-O-O-C-K which is also an outdoor style speaker. The UE Boom tends to fluctuate anywhere from a $100 price range, while the MOOC is retailing at $39. And right now I believe it's on sale. I have a coupon code that will be included in the video description down below. But that being said, both speakers are shock and wire resistant. The MOOC is wire resistant with an IP rating of IPX5, which means it's able to get splash, snow, even dust, but it cannot be fully submerged in water. While the Ultimate Ear, on the other hand, is IP rated at IPX7, which means it could do all that, but also could be fully submerged in water up to three feet for only 30 minutes. So I don't know why you want to pick up a speaker that you would want to take going scuba diving with you. These are not the speakers you want to do that with, but if there's a situation where one rolls off or falls off in water, you'll have a higher chance of surviving with this one than you would with that one. Now the packaging of the MOOC was very bland and plain. There really isn't any specs written on the box or the packaging, so it's kind of mysterious. But in the front, they do have a lovely display of the speaker as well as the MOOC logo on top. Now let's go ahead and do the unboxing. The unboxing itself is really plain, nothing really that unique that stands out from previous unboxes that I've done in the past. Items that it includes is a micro USB cable, a carabiner, a aux port cable, and a traveling bag. And left inside the package is just a welcome guide and yeah, quick starter guide and that's basically it. Now with the UE Boom, this is the UE Boom 2, so the packaging is way different than the circle packaging that it used to came with on the older models. So here we got the UE Boom which has the same nice silicone-like texture that feels very similar actually, but the UE Boom has like a mesh cloth texture around the speaker gills. Unlike the MOOC has an aluminum speaker grill, so this one could cost, possibly get scratched in the future and might not look as good as the cloth material was, but what was there to expect when this thing costs $100? It should have a bit more. And then what else is included in the UE Boom is, there's no paper manual, but they do have the instructions printed on this little packaging. And inside this little packaging, in here we find a micro USB cable. It's one of these flat ones too, which is kind of cool, but. So right away, both the UE Boom and the Mach both have little clips right here that will allow you to put the carabiner that came included on the MOOC to be either clamped on your waist, hanging on the wall structure, or mounting this on your backpack as you're hiking and listening to music. The MOOC has rubber feeding on the bottom right here that indicates that this thing was fully designed to be placed like so. Unlike the UE Boom, it's designed to be placed like this. But you can also rock it like so if you ever need to. Since it does have this little plastic lip right here that allows it to also be placed at that angle. But the MOOC, you can also flip it just like the UE Boom. Now let's go ahead and pair the two devices. Now let's go pair the UE Boom. Makes those bongo noises. And now with the UE Boom, it does have a companion app, which means this thing will be able to get support for future updates, be able to add new features from UE Boom. Not sure if they're gonna add any more. I know one of its key features is that you're able to pair this to other UE Boom devices. And I believe the max amount of UE Booms you could pair to one device is up to 150. I don't know why you wanna do that, 
but this thing could be paired up to 150 other UE booms. But right here we see we got the volume settings up and down. It also displays as this to give us a little indication how far the volume is. As I'm connected to all two speakers on the phone, on the same device they will all display the battery life percentage on your settings if you're on iOS. I'm pretty sure it does the same thing to Android phones. So now the big question is, how great do they sound? Now obviously both of them are gonna be compressed when rendering this video or uploaded to YouTube. So I'm gonna do my best and give you guys my full impressions on letting you know which one sounds better on the bass or low ends, etc. Let's go ahead and start off by clearing out the table and let's go ahead and test out this baby. You gotta find a non-copyright song. DJ Quads, I like this guy. I'm gonna have his link in the video description down below if you guys wanna to listen to more of his songs. Let's listen to I Like Too. I wonder which one's gonna play. It's playing off the Yui Boom. We're gonna go listen to the Yui Boom first, I guess. Good bass, good bass control. Now let's go disconnect this one and listen to the mooks. Disconnect that, that one, make bongo noises. Pleasant bongo noises, I may add. Let's see. They sound really close almost. That's Max. One thing that the Yui Boom doesn't have, pause a bit. And Honestly, it's a tie. <laughs> Like, this doesn't sound no different compared to this $40 speaker. The Yui Boom, although it's fun to toss around, it's almost like a water bottle. The build structure is obviously no, doesn't feel no different compared to this one. Yes, the cloth-like material on the gills is definitely a lot better than the aluminum material they used on this. Because I can see this in the future getting scratched or dinged. But it's not a gloss texture, it's like a matte almost like a silicone light matte paint but i know if i grab a car key or something and scratch it it will damage the aluminum and it will show those marks obviously but it's no different compared to the mook really yes the ue boom definitely does get a lot louder and the bass definitely sounds a bit more bassier but when it comes to filling up a room they're both almost identical and they both have microphone microphone support so you can make phone calls off these devices if you need to now, this is where the big differences come in. The Yui Boom is able to get range up to 100 feet. And the Mook, it's only capable of getting up to 30 feet away by Bluetooth connection. So to some, this could be an issue. But me personally, when I'm usually listening to music, I'm always nearby. So 30 feet should be plenty enough for me. But if you're somebody who's always outdoors, but wants to get more distance, you might be looking into the Yui Booms. 
But that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys like this kind of content. All the products you saw here between these two speakers will be linked in the video description down below. And if you're planning on picking up the MOOC, there will be a discount code in the video description. So make sure to check out that product. But as always, hope you guys like this kind of video. If you did, want to help and support the channel, make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe to the channel. And real quick, thank you MOOC for providing us this speaker. Without you, this video wasn't going to be possible. But until next time, hope to see you on the next one. Peace.